Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here in my root cellar, which I'm getting ready for the upcoming COVID-19 season in 2020. One of the things that I've been buying a lot more of is canned fruits. You know, that's good for health and nutrition, getting some vitamin C, but it's also good for emotional and morale reasons. You know, it's fine, like, if you're yourself and you can just kind of get through a winter with whatever you have, but it doesn't really fly that great if you have kids and you say, all we have all winter for greens is kale. <laughs> It's nice to have some other uh, things, some more variety for kids especially. So I've been stocking up my pantry with that kind of stuff. Now, uh, this stuff here behind me, you see, uh, I got a lot of it from walmart.com and it's the first time I'd ever ordered anything from walmart.com and I wanted to give you guys a word of warning. When I received the package, and I don't know if this is always the case, but it was certainly the case with my shipment. It was sitting on my porch when I got back home in terrible, terrible shape. About half the boxes had huge gaping holes in them so big that I, you know, cans easily could have fallen out of it, and, uh, and all the packages were uh, damaged to some degree. Now, they were delivered by FedEx, but I don't really uh, fault FedEx for it because uh, when I went inside, I realized why they were in such terrible shape. The people at Walmart had taken what I you know, have to assume had been uh, properly packed cases of food. I'd, I'd bought everything in large quantities, like 24, 48 yeah, cans, like that kind of stuff. I know from buying things in bulk that the stuff usually comes in cases of 6 or 12 or 24 or something like that. Uh, and they're nicely packed, strong cardboard boxes that they come from the distribution company. Now, the people at Walmart took those, took off all the protective uh, packaging material, and then threw the cans loose into these really light and not very strong cardboard boxes. There was a lot of airspace in there, so things could like just bang around a lot, and the only protection they put in there was a couple of loose packing balloons. It was, it was almost like an ironic joke how it was put together, like there's a disgruntled employee and they don't like the company and they're just thinking, oh, I'm gonna do such a terrible job. Or it was, it was that level of bad where you have to question whether there was um, malevolence there. It, it, you know, so like so many things with human beings, you don't know whether people are just really, really stupid or being malicious in some way. <laughs> and it was that. So I wanted to give you guys a warning. If you are planning on getting anything uh, from walmart.com, here's a couple of examples. Now these are the worst examples, but almost every one of these cans has some kind of damage. This one here, it's got a big uh, dent in the side of it. This is canned pineapple. Uh, this one over here, the small ones were not at all immune to it. This one's it's got a dent up over here, it's got a dent over here, just in really terrible shape. Now I have no doubt that if I went to Walmart and brought all this stuff back, they would probably accept it. Uh, you know, I might even get some kind of a cursory apology, but the whole reason I went to Walmart.com was to uh, streamline things, get stuff into my home quickly without having to make those kind of trips, and, it, and to avoid that kind of a hassle. So if you're thinking about getting this kind of stuff, consider whether or not you would be okay and if you'd accept that because there's a pretty good chance if you get the kind of packing person that I got to put your stuff into the package for delivery, that's what you're going to end up with. So just a word of warning. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com.